The Quadern Girl by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. The slaver in the broad lagoon lay moored with idle sail. He waited for the rising moon and for the evening gale. Under the shore his boat was tied, and all her listless crew watched the gray alligator slide into the still bayou. Odors of orange flowers and spice reached them from time to time, like airs that breathe from paradise upon a world of crime. The planter, under his roof of thatch, smoked thoughtfully and slow. The slaver's thumb was on the latch, he seemed in haste to go. He said my ship at anchor rides in yonder broad lagoon. I only wait the evening tides and the rising of the moon. Before them, with her face appraised, in timid attitude, like one half curious, half amazed, a quadrant maiden stood. Her eyes were large and full of light, her arms and neck were bare. No garment she wore save a kirtle bright and her own long, raven hair. And on her lips there played a smile, as holy meek, and faint, as lights in some cathedral aisle, the features of a saint. The soil is barren, the farm is old, the thoughtful planter said, then looked upon the slaver's gold, and then upon the maid. His heart within him was at strife, with such accursed gains, for he knew whose passions gave her life, whose blood ran in her veins. But the voice of nature was too weak. He took the glittering gold. Then pale as death grew the maiden's cheek, her hands as icy cold. The slaver led her from the door. He led her by the hand to be his slave and paramour in a strange and distant land.